Ceremony. At this time, I'd like to call Morgan Wise and Olivia Clark to the podium for the invitation and the Star Spangled Banner. Robert. 
of the class of 2022 for attaining the standards necessary in attaining a high school diploma. They've helped set a standard of what attitude, honor, and success represents within our school, and they represent the communities with our It's been my pleasure to be the principals of this school standards On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Armstrong Junior Senior High School,
to announce the salutatorian of the class of 2022. to attend Duquesne University to major in nursing to eventually become a pediatric or neonatal intensive care nurse. Her activities in high school have been memberships in SAD, P Club, Leo Club, Student Council, and our Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, our salutatorian is Ashley Johnson. Don't procrastinate about making memories that will last a lifetime. 
Enjoy the season you are in now with the people around you now, because one day you may not have that again. Mr. Michael Kinsey. Michael is the son of Brittany and Michael Kinsey. His future plans are to attend Allegheny College to major in physics before looking to attend grad school in order to obtain a degree in astrophysics. While at Armstrong, Michael is involved in wrestling, track and field, and soccer. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Michael Kinsey. In order to be successful in anything you ever do, communication is key. Whether it's walking a dog, writing a paper, or even going to a friend's house, communication plays a huge role. I personally had a life-changing event when Stephen and Lane taught me how to kneeboard on the river. Without the key elements of communication, the night would not have been as successful. Wherever you go in life, you will most likely encounter many different people. In order to accomplish any collaborative task, communication must be executed in order to progress. Sometimes I don't want to talk to Mrs. Macaulay about my calculus homework because she is rather intimidating in my opinion. But I had to in order to be successful. As Mr. Elise states, Listening is also an important part of communication. That being said, some freshman hallway conversations in between periods can leave a lasting impression. Just ask Mrs. Kidder what she heard before eighth period. Another prominent aspect that comes with being successful is support. I feel like support from friends and family I've always been more of an advanced science 
person. English has always been a struggle for me, and their help is what got me through. Even in physics, Andrew's willingness to remind me after school about Doc Snyder's midnight lab reports helped me move forward. Without everyone's support, I wouldn't be standing here today at this podium. Everyone here in a cap and gown has been supported by someone in this stadium. Even if it includes having a ride to school, a teacher trying to explain why you failed a math test, or even my mom standing beside me as I'm typing this. Support has a lasting effect. Whether you go to college, join a trade, or enter the workforce, I know support will be present in everyone's life as we move on to our next chapters. The last aspect of success is work ethic. As a class, we are officially moving on to bigger and better things. One element that we must take with us is our work ethic in our future occupations. Personally, I learned what hard work is through my dad. He manages a full-time job at the Manning family business and a supportive family life. This requires much organization, time management, and dedication. The example he set greatly influenced my ability to balance academics and sports with my social life. Without my dad's influence, I would not be standing here before you. I must admit, Tanner and I enjoyed doing our lab reports one hour before the deadline, but nobody's perfect. In all seriousness, working diligently is key to a successful life. As I am typing this in nearing 1 a.m. this morning, I would like to wrap this up with speaking directly to the class of 2022. We made it. We are finally about to diverge into our own paths. Whatever it may be, we have accomplished this one thing together and that unifies us. There may never be a time when we are all together again, but the memories will always be present within our class, such as the Limp Up, Pop Thon, Power Pop, or even Water Wars. There were many surprises throughout the years, such as Jessa successfully backing into her parking spot on the first try. Or Sid actually coming in to first period. There may be more surprises to come, such as Tanner finally cutting his mullet. It is a pleasure to be the class of 2022 Valley Victorian, and I genuinely wish everyone the best. But before I end this dragging speech, I would like to clarify one thing. My senior quote in the yearbook is actually false, and was put there under the impression I would not be at this podium in front of all of you. If you're not aware of what it states, please do not look at it. One last thing I would like to say to my graduating class. Can you please finish this statement? You can't dodge it.
that they are part of a group of students who exemplify the highest values in education. These goals being excellence in scholarship, service, character, and leadership. All of these students have attained a, group, a degree of success in reaching these goals. It can truly be said that they have taken the best advantage of the education offered. On behalf of the faculty and administration, May I extend our congratulations to the 2022 senior members of the Armstrong Senior High School chapter of the National Honor Society. Please be seated. favorite part of our race, hoping that we get to this part of this the ceremony, the presentation of diplomas. As one of the principals of the Armstrong Senior High School, I present these young men and women to the school directors and administration of the Armstrong School District as having fully met all the requirements for graduation from high school as set It is with pleasure that I recommend to all of these men and women to receive high school diplomas. To certify they have complied with these requirements as we get to the state. Calling our road this evening will be Mr. Jim Canish, and joining me for the diploma presentation will be all of our guests. Jessica 
Catherine Nicole Adcock. Drake Adams. Cadence Anderson. Trevor Aldridge. Raven Anderson. Caden J. Barrett. Rebecca Anderson. Ellen Barton. Two. One, Nicole Bowser. The thing you learned about the brother is her name, Dr. Paula Bailey, the administrator of the New Armstrong School District. Mason Matthew Conroy. Kylie G. Burke. Zach A. Gorman. Nicole Burns. Scott Allen Brady. John Faithful. Xavier Crispin. Malia Alexandra Faithful. Ryan Crispin. Zachary Devoe, Katie Brianne Cobbett, Cole Venanzio, Dakota Cousins, Troy R. Dunlap, Gracie Elizabeth Crownover, Philip James Fujii, Mackenzie Wynn Crownover, Gavin T. Grafton, Thank you. 
Benjamin Douglas Porter. <laughs> Sophia E. Hoogan. Lance Winnell. Yeah. 
Will A. Caitlin Mackenzie Savinda. Zachary Michael Wolf. Johanna Anna Schmella. Jonathan Robert Yancey.
You may be seated.
On behalf of the class of 2023, I am honored to accept this cap and gown and will wear it with a sense of pride and responsibility. Please accept the congratulations of the class of 2023 on whose behalf I wish you and the class of 2022 future happiness and success. Thank you. Would the class, graduating class of 2022 please stand? By the authority vested in me by the State Department of Education and the Armstrong Board, School, Board of School Directors, I do hereby certify that these members of the class of 2022 have fulfilled all state and local requirements entitling them to a high school diploma. The Armstrong Senior High School class of 2022 is now graduating. Would everyone please stand and join Olivia Pock, Macy Morgan, and Lauren Reed in the singing
Thank you.